Custom Gamer, Daz, Ambushville, Sam Coombs, Rapid Raid, run, 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 run. <laughs> no time for intros, we've got to move. So Sam doesn't waste any time with this release. Uh, you're ambushed as soon as you literally start the map. Uh, something I'm not really too fond of. Again, it would have been nice to just get your bearings slightly before being chased. But this map does keep up a nice pace all throughout. I believe he made this entirety just in a weekend, so two days worth of work, so incredibly impressive given the time. It's got this great forward momentum to it, which I think a lot of the maps are missing. Visually, the map is nothing really to write home about. It's very, very functional in, it, in its looks. It never looks ugly, but it never really impresses either. Again, I think that's more due to the, the amount of time spent making it more, more than anything, anything else. You just have to compare this to Station 51 to know Sam, Sam's definitely a very capable designer. What it makes up for though is the actual gameplay. It's very well thought out. Although it's a very short map, uh, I think the space is very well designed with some interesting puzzles used throughout. For instance here we've got just a simple barnacle puzzle. So we can use a grenade here to get rid of them. There's a couple of ways you can do this. There's an explosive barrel given to you as well which you could use. And there's a couple of little secret areas like this. And I believe there's some more hidden watermelons around the map that you can find. I think there's three in total, if I'm remembering correctly. I think I only found one or two in this playthrough. Now, observant players also notice that you can shimmy around the edge here to get to the back along the edge of all these barnacles and there's a magnum hidden up here it was knocked down on this playthrough as a I used the grenade to clear out the barnacles there it is lying on the ground I don't know why zombies don't want watermelons that's always a, a missed opportunity by Valve I think it would have been hilarious to see head crabs go after the uh, watermelons as a they're rather head shaped I think that would have been an awesome way to distract them while you run away <laughs> and collect all the ammo say hello to Mr. Happy and uh, carry on Mr. Happy is pleased by a contribution So again you can see here that all the corridors are very very boxy kind of very much kind of I just need a corridor here it doesn't matter what it looks like kind of thing and then we get into this arena which is the main bulk of the map uh, I believe I commented in the live stream that this fight feels a little bit too long um, after playing the map again a couple of times I'm not so sure that's the case it felt long the first time but playing it through a second third fourth time it feels okay I just think the issue that leads to it feeling long is that it's just the same bit of gameplay repeated over and over like around eight times just four combine repel into the arena you kill them and then four more come there's never really any variation from that that would have been nice to see some different enemies like some man hacks or perhaps some more explosive barrels falling down every now and then just to liven things up a little bit maybe get a hunter in here at some point as well but looking at the actual layout of the arena, it's actually really, really nice. The player's always got a couple of options about which corridor can go down next. But it still keeps a very interconnected feeling. It ends up feeling like lots of, um, if you imagine like an array of 3x3 three three cubes. Imagine the arena here with kind of doors between each cube into each section. I hope I'm explaining myself well enough, but it just means the player always has lots of options about which way to go. There's always uh, a couple of flanking routes available for both the player and the enemies. And the final wave opens the door so we can escape. So yeah, while I think the actual fight is lacking a bit, I really do like the layout of the actual arena. It's, it's nicely thought out. Now we can get out of here. I 
there's a little bit a lack of things like uh, ambience or soundscapes or anything like that. It uh, would have made this area a bit more interesting. We've just got some simple platforming in order to reach the exit. Almost feel like there was going to be more of the map here, but maybe you just ran out of time, I don't know. Just feel like it was building up to something else. And we reached the end. Yeah, that was Rapid Raid by Sam Coombs. I'll be back with more Ambushville very shortly.